All right, looking for general tips or advice. Let's see what we can do. Play it through, path not looking too bad on the takeaway. Little early extension on the way down, and I think that's where you need the help because path and face looked okay. So, quickly to jump in, we get one spine line and pay attention how it is going to cut right through your ear. Subsequent line on the rear end to see if you're going to move those hips into impact. But again, pay attention to the red line by your head at your ear. What you do in your takeaway is you will tilt down or dip down a little bit. You keep your weight back enough so your butt's not coming in just yet. But then you are going to use the ground force to then jump back up. And when your timing is correct, here's your impact. Here is your ear right about where it started. So you're going to be level to the ground and sweep that ball nice and clean when you return to where you started. But the rear end has come in, so your spine has extended a bit as well, making contact a little bit more difficult and can often cause some heel strikes because everything's tending to move that way through the shot. So back to what to do, giving you a quick comp. Let's see if we can get him up here quick. Max Homa going to repeat the same lines through the ear. Play him first, and you'll see that, if anything, his first move takeaway is to stand up out of it or extend the spine a bit to create some good width and depth in that backswing. Uh, doesn't get as far back as you do to the top, meaning it's not about all that potential speed on the way back. You're a little bit below the line. He's a little bit above his starting line. Then you're going to jump up and try to time your scoop from him being up taller to the top. He can then descend his angle of attack down on the ball, keep his head down and through it, and most of all, keep his rear end back against that line, creating tons of space for those hands to stay nice and tight, whereas your elbow can be forced away from your body sometimes if you move too far in. So there's your analysis, but it ties back into what you should start with, which is simply taking your first move and away from get away from doing this downward action and start feeling like you maintain that same spine angle or even create some height in your backswing coming back.